Hello, my darling. So today we are talking about cognitive distortions, which is broadly just kind of the shitty way we think. But today what I want to focus on is should statements, okay? Should statements are things like, well, I'm supposed to do this, and I say why, and they go, well, that's just how it's done. That's how you should do it. The problem is that word why, those three little letters, W-H-Y, generally screws up people's thought processes. The reason is, is we go through life being socialized thinking that that's just how it's done. The problem is what I find is how it's done does not work for the average individual. Not everybody needs or wants a spouse, 2.5 children, a picket fence, and a golden retriever. It's okay to say that it doesn't work that way. Okay, should statements or how you should do it are outdated in most cases. So before you find yourself saying, I should do it this way, ask yourself why. Why do you have to fold the clothes in the dryer? I don't care, put it on tumble and get dressed out of the dryer, right? If you gotta sit on the shower floor to take a shower, I don't care. That way you just get the shower, that's all that matters, okay? Nobody's gonna check up on you, nobody's gonna tell you how you should do it in your own home. This takes you asking yourself why. Why should I do something a certain way? It's one of my pet peeves, and it's a way when I work with patients, it's the quickest way to help them fix their thinking. Because when they say should, it generally tells me someone has told them that's how it's done, it's not how they want to do it. And that can be a source of pain or discomfort. And so we start there. That's my favorite cognitive distortion to work on with people. And I think that it could help you too. Have a great day.